Hey guys, I'm back and wanted to talk to you about uh, after you have students create videos, how do you manage those videos? So Flipgrid gives you a lot of really cool options. Again, we were in our first grid that we created. Uh, it's our example grid and then we have our topic, example one. We have one video, the one that I created. So this, this topic is not public yet. It's not for class yet. But once I come over here, I see this video. If there's a green circle around it, that means no one's watched it. It tells me I have zero views, but I need to watch it as an administrator. So once I've, I've watched it, now if, I've, if I chose to let the students like videos, you'll have a little like toggle button here. I can use, um, I can edit the rubric or use it for grading. I can give them a performance evaluation. I can even leave comments for students. I can copy that link or I can email feedback directly to students if they're logged in with their email. So I can also leave a vibe, I can add some different pieces here, but this right here, active or hidden. So if I've toggled on where the, the students have to have the, the teacher's permission or have, it's not going to be public until you give a permission, it's going to come up as hidden. And if I want it to be active, I can click on that. I also have some different actions. I can move it to my mixtapes. If this is amazing work, I can share it on mixtapes. I can move, res move the response to different places. I can download the video um, or I can delete the video if I need to as well. So it gives us a lot of options just within that video after looking at it. It also gives you some options here. Same options that we had in the video, it gives you outside of the video in this platform as well. I can also share the video if I want to. Uh, publicly or share it um, to Google Classroom as an example if it's if it's appropriate. So lots of different options for the videos the students create. The thing I wanted to share with you about this page here is that there's this add topic guests link. If I click on that it's gonna let me add guests. So this could be parents, it can be an expert, it could be someone that you would want to respond to the video. Something I've done with pre-service teachers is I've let them uh, have an expert in a specific area jump in and respond to their videos using their own Flipgrid videos. So if I click that on, I can send a QR code or a Flipgrid uh, link to those people and they can jump in as well and I can allow them to record or not allow them to record. So it's a really fantastic tool for incorporating outside voices into your classroom as well while keeping everybody safe and secure.